Previously on Dark Swamp. You know, he's not half bad when he's passed out and can't talk. Operation White Panther will commence on October 28th. You want to be friends with Rock. This isn't about Rock, is it? I gotta get rid of him. Your little girlfriend sold you out. She, she what? Revy! I didn't think you'd come back for me! I know you try to get rid of me. I'm not supposed to feel anything! But then you come around and fuck everything up! Stop running away from what makes you human! This might sound crazy, but they seem like they'd make a good team. I think they're gonna be alright. So how was jail? It was alright. It was only one night. How about you, Rick? How was your cellmate? I was sold by a large man with tattoos to a larger man with tattoos for a pack of cigarettes. He made me read him poetry in a girl's voice. Oh, that's just Frank. He's totally cool once you forget about the whole likes to piss on dudes while they sleep thing. Wait, so, anything what? happened while we were gone? It's been pretty quiet, actually. Bala Lyke is on vacation, and Mr. Chang is out of town as well. <laughs> no wonder, then. They're the ones who usually stir up the most trouble. Oh, that sucks, though. I was itching for some action, but I doubt anything interesting will happen while they're gone. Can we help you with something? Uh, hey, Rick, you should head into the holding room. There's someone waiting for you. Waiting for me? I don't really have any friends in Rowanaper. It's fine, alright? Just just get in there. Uh, alright. What was that about? I called in some favors and got Rex a little present as a sign of niceness or whatever. Aw, Revy. I'm surprised. That was nice of you. Yeah, well... I, I thought I'd just get him something nice since I never really say nice stuff to him. I tried thinking of ways to compliment him, but everything I came up with was pretty shitty. I mean, how can you make you're not the biggest idiot I've ever met sound more positive? Maybe you could try. Rock, you're a pretty smart guy. Dutch, I want to compliment him, not lie to his face. I made a necklace out of macaroni this morning. You were just the cutest thing. I hear that all the time. Okay, mister. Are you ready? Ready for what? <laughs> Revy? A word? What? You too old? A prostitute? You got me a goddamn child prostitute? Okay, okay. I thought you'd be into that sort of thing. My bad for being thoughtful. Jesus Christ, Revy. What about me would make you think I'm a pedophile? Gee, I don't know, Roy. Maybe it was yesterday when we stopped by the strip club to make a delivery. Well, now, this is a surprise. Lagoon's got a new errand boy. <laughs> Revy's never been one for accepting new crewmates. She must like you if she hasn't tried to kill you yet. Believe me, I tried. Well, she must like you if she hasn't killed you yet. Well, I like her too, so... Well, I mean, not in that way. No, no, I, I like her, but not like... Like her, like her. I, I prefer a younger woman. <laughs> not that she isn't young. I just meant younger than me. Well, I mean, she might be younger than me. It's just a little hard to tell with the tattoos and the smoking with a raspy voice. And how old are you again? Don't answer that. My voice isn't that husky. I don't sound like that. <laughs> just because I like to date a woman younger than me does not or mean that. Or maybe it was what I heard when we had the kid in the car and I was drifting in and out of consciousness. Anyway. Hey kid, let's play close your eyes, plug your ears, and Doesn't that sound fun? It's a fun game. <laughs> this is what dying feels like. That is ridiculously out of context! Or maybe it was I actually don't have a third example. I was I was just going off those two. How did you even find this girl anyway? Look, the point is I got you a gift and all you've done is bitch at me. I think you owe me a little gratitude. I'm not gonna thank you for this! As a gift to me, you spent your money on a child prostitute! Well... You spent my money on a child prostitute?! It's a gesture that counts, you ungrateful little shit! Just be happy I got you a girl and not a boy! Wait, did you want a boy? Is that what this is about? I'm out of here. Oh, damn him! Okay, just a thought here. Maybe next time, run your gift ideas by me first. Shut the fuck up. It's that idiot's fault he can't appreciate one of the only nice things I've done all year. Fuck. Why the sudden good deed, anyway? No offense, but the only time I hear Revy and Generous in the same sentence is when people describe the amount of bullets you put in them. Oh, me and Rick are trying to be friends, and apparently friends do nice shit for each other. <laughs> no, really, what's the reason? Okay, I got some air, and I feel a lot better. Oh. I didn't know you'd still be here. Don't worry, I was just heading out. I'm gonna go in town for a bit.
did you want to talk about something, Rock? Well, yeah, actually. I need some advice. Fuck you! I can do nice shit when I wanna! Yeah? Chair kick! So, you know those Puerto Rican pirates that just pulled up next to our ship? I might have just made a deal with them. You don't speak Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's the thing. I might have just sold Rick. That might have just happened. Help! Let me go! Where are you taking me? I'm a person! I think we're getting like 40 crates of mangoes in exchange, though, so that's worth it, right? Come on, Rick! You're running out of time! Three, two, one! Go! Go, 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 go! go. Stop! Don't stop! <laughs> Come on! Come on! You can run faster than that fucker! I said when I wanna, didn't I? Revy and I, well, we've been trying to become better friends lately. What? No, I just, I thought that might get a laugh out of you. I, I mean, come on, <laughs> me and Revy. Becoming friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and Revy. <laughs> oh, that's rich. That is a funny situation that I had no prior knowledge of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we've been trying to find stuff for us to do together, but it hasn't been going so great. So anyways, for our first buddy-buddy field trip, I thought of the obvious. What's the number one thing that's guaranteed to bring people together? Common interest? Booze. All right, Ricky, time to show me what you're made of. I'm not really much of a drinker, Revy. Look, Rex, you're the one who told me to think of friendship to do with you. So give it a shot, would you? Well, maybe just one. <laughs> Jeez, Rick. I didn't think just smelling it would do this to you. I have a sensitive stomach! So then I thought we could get to know each other by talking about our pasts. Maybe we had something in common that we never knew about. No. Yeah. And then I ate all the brownie batter anyway and cried all night. <laughs> all right, now you go. I don't think this is such a good idea. Aw, come on. I don't know anything about your past. Seriously, dude. Uh, all right, how about this? Tell me one thing you remember from your childhood. <sighs> well, I remember I lost my dog when I was, like... 11. Aw, you had a doggy. Did he run away? Well, uh, I guess. Aw. You ran away into a moving car. Uh, aw. The worst part is that we didn't have enough money for food that week. So we had to keep him. So we could eat him. We had to eat my dog. Uh, uh, uh I didn't live in a very good neighborhood. There was crime on every street and more garbage than people. If you didn't learn how to use a gun, you were dead. My father first took me shooting when I was five. Yeah, maybe you're right. This wasn't such a good idea. Let's try another topic. Who was your first crush? That's when I learned what color blood was. I was eight when I killed my first man. It could have gone better. Ah, uh, come on, Revy. Why would you tell him about butterscotch? Everyone should know about butterscotch! Everyone should know about butterscotch. Okay, I got some air and I feel a lot better. Oh, I didn't know you'd still be here. Don't worry, I was just heading out. I'm gonna go in town for a bit. Did you want to talk about something, Rock? So, anyway, what do you think I should do? Well, Rock, uh, you know, sometimes life gives you an apple when you want a banana. But hey, they're, they're both fruit. So, you just gotta eat that apple and enjoy what you got. Cause life is just a big smoothie. I lost track of what we were talking about, but I am now very thirsty. It figures right after you piss me off, Dutch suddenly gets the craving for a smoothie. He should go get his own damn fruit so I don't have to deal with your ungrateful ass. Fucking Dutch. I hope he chokes on a smoothie and dies. Look, it's great that you're trying to be my friend. I appreciate that. But you're gonna have to... I don't know. Do a better job. Oh, excuse me, friend police. I didn't know there was some fucking book of rules I had to follow. If I'm doing such a shitty job thinking of stuff, why don't you try suggesting something, huh? What kind of shit do you want to do? All right, fine. When I envisioned doing friend stuff with you, I pictured nice, calm activities that don't have a high chance of getting me killed. Do you know of anything we can do like that? Well, Hedda and I have a girls night out tonight. You should tag along. We could use a driver. Girls' night out? That actually might be alright. 
sounds nice and safe. I I'd be up for that. So what, it's like shoes and shopping and being a getaway driver. Sure, that's what I imagined. Hey, you never said anything about not doing activities that have a high chance of getting you killed. Yes, I did. Oh. So, you two bang yet? Hit up for fuck's sake! <laughs> Whoa, we've got a live one! Rock, put it in reverse! <laughs> Hey there, cutie. We were just in the neighborhood and noticed you might need a getaway car. We represent Sinner and Saint Getaway Services and would be happy to help you out for a prize. I told you we ain't going with that name, Edda! Now, we're not cheap. It's gonna cost you a million yen to... Sure. Well, that was easy. Usually, they need a little more convincing to give up their money, but I'm not complaining. Wow, you're a popular girly. Looks like the whole neighborhood's got it out for you. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. What may I do for you this fine evening? Listen, sister, we got business with that woman you just picked up. Hand her over! Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, as a member of the church, it is my duty to protect those in need. She deserves to be saved. Now now that doesn't seem fair, sister. I'm a member of the church, too. Why don't you give me what I deserve? I suppose that's only fair. <laughs> don't worry. God may show him mercy in the afterlife. Or he might just watch as he burns in hell. Amen, cocksuckers. We'll be going now. The peace of the Lord be with you. This is pretty fun. Maybe being Catholic wouldn't suck so bad after all. Driving backwards, don't die. Driving backwards, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. That was fun. Your definition of fun scares me. I'm pretty sure everything about me scares you, Rick. But it was awesome how you gave it a shot and tagged along with us, so... Thanks, I guess. You're... you're welcome, Revy. And it really means a lot Don't to me that- this, dude. Just take the compliment and shut up. Yeah, okay, gotcha. It's too bad that kid got away when the maid was chasing us. He was the son of Dr. Diego Lovelace, one of the richest men in South America. He'd been kidnapped, and all we had to do was deliver him to the drop-off point. Well, I'm sure other opportunities will- Wait, do you hear that? I- I hear noises in the holding room. I swear to God, Revy, if you got me another prostitute- Hey, don't look at me. I understand now that you can't appreciate a hand-picked gift that I put a lot of work into finding. It's probably just a rat or something. Go check it out yourself if you're so fucking curious. But what if it's a robber? Or a ghost? Or a ghost robber? Those are the worst. You can't hurt them and they take your stuff. Look, Rick, just because I'm your friend doesn't mean I'm going to take care of you night and day. Everyone wants to kick your ass. I'd have to fight off the entire fucking world just to keep you safe. Now go check out the holding room before you piss yourself. All right. You can do this. Be brave, Rock. What's the worst thing you could find? I mean, it might be a murderer or a wild animal, but, but at least it won't be... Found the kid. Just be cool, Revy. We're getting a big payoff for this kid. I don't give a shit! Fucking Brad ate my pizza! Technically, he threw it at me. Whatever! The point is, I'm gonna be hungry tonight because of this little shit, and that makes me just a bit pissed off! Revy, come on, don't hurt him. Yeah, put your anger issues aside, he's a little kid. I don't got anger issues. Anger's got issues with me! Now keep moving! <laughs> Look, you've got 20 minutes to kill before our meeting. What do you say we swing by the yellow flag and get a drink to calm you down? Sweet! Going to a bar in Rowanipur at night. What could go wrong? Relax, would ya? By this time of night, they're usually too drunk to be an actual threat. I mean, we definitely might run into some weirdos, but at least it won't be- <laughs> Oh, fuck. I will ask you again. Where can I find the angry-looking Chinese-American woman with tattoos running down her left arm? Oh, double fuck. <laughs> Looks like you got a fan, Revy. Oh, we gotta get through this war zone and get the fuck out of here. I know you got a habit of fucking things up, but don't make a sound, Rex. Okay, I... I... mean it. Keep quiet. Don't make a sound. Got it, I got it. Revy, you bitch! Mm -hmm. This maid is destroying my bar because she's looking for you! Fuck you! I ain't turning myself in, you got it? Hey, Revy! Don't make a sound. It seems as though I will no longer need your assistance, gentlemen, as I have found my rival. Your... what? Good evening, miss. I have been searching for you for many days now. My name is Roberta Consuela Maria Rosarita. I am one of the greatest fighters in all of Mexico. As you defeated me in combat, it has become my mission to face you in a rematch and regain my honor.
You're serious. Very. You spent two weeks tracking me down to regain your honor. You do know what year it is, right? This shall be a one-on-one -on -one match in which weapons are permitted. I have already prepared for our fight, so I will give you a few moments to tend to your weapon. Look, Four Eyes, normally I jump at the chance to beat the shit out of somebody. But last time we fought, you almost killed me. There's still some shit I'd like to do before I die, so I'm gonna have to take a rain check on this. Perhaps you mistook my demand for an invitation. This fight is not optional. I will not rest until we have had our rematch. I was in the war. Okay, plan B. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this fucking kid if you don't let me go right now! Revy, what are you doing? I really don't know, shut up! Do not try to escape your destiny. I am your <laughs> rival. You're no one's rival, you fucking freak! Just cause I beat the shit out of you once does not mean we're in some kind of competition with each other! I may be crazy and stupid and have more concussions than most people have letters in their name, but I'm smart enough to know fighting you is not a good idea. Now leave me the fuck alone! I shall take a moment to think about this. What? I have taken a moment to think about this. My answer is... No. No? Yes. So, yes, you're a crazy bitch and you're gonna leave me the fuck alone? No, yes, as in my answer is no in response to you denying me being your rival. Oh, fucking what?! I deny your denial of our rivalhood. Can she fucking do that?! <laughs> Holy shit, is that a- <sighs> What- What the hell happened? Uh... Darn it, Revy! Stop getting concussions! That's like the eighth one this month! Rock, come on, we're getting out of here! I want to go to the park! He wants to go to the park! What do I do? Tell him no! Aw, but then he's gonna do the thing he does! Rock! <sighs> Sorry, kid. We can't... can't go to the... to the park! Just some stuff. Oh, and, uh, we crashed the car. Again. Also, the maid followed us here. So if you could, you know, shake off that concussion and stop her from killing us, that'd be great. Fight! Must, must fight! Must kill! Must kill rival! Must fight rival! I was in the war! <laughs> All right, bitch. You want to die this badly? Fine. Revy, wait a- Listen up, Ricardo. Don't try any friendship bullshit on me right now. I'm in no mood. I've had more than my fill of shit these past few weeks. This bitch needs to be taught a lesson about what happens when you fuck with me. I'm gonna win this fight fair and square. And by having Dutch radio me every move she makes, you find the binoculars, Dutch? Found them! Bitchin'. Dutch, I'm worried. Ah, don't worry. Bullet wounds heal. The head trauma, on the other hand. No, it's not that. It's... This... This maid is... She's crazy! I mean, like, really crazy! <laughs> rock! Rock! Yes, yes she is. But I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh. Okay, Revy just fell in her face. I'm gonna go help her up. Hope you're ready to hurt, maid. The only thing you're gonna be cleaning up after this is your teeth off the ground. I regret to inform you that it shall be you who will be hurting after our fight. I shall emerge victorious and claim yet another victory for Puerto Rico. Wait, I thought you said you were from Mexico. I was in the war! Watch your left! Your left! Sorry, meant my left. How the fuck am I supposed to know what your left is? I can't fucking see you! You know, that's a good point. I got shot in the fucking arm! Fuck, this hurts! You know, just ignore it and I think you'll start to feel much better. There's a fucking bullet in my arm, Dutch! I can't just ignore it! Well, not with that attitude. God damn it! I don't need a motivational pep talk right now! I need someone who can tell me what this fucker's doing! Put Benny on! Wait, no, put Rex on! Okie dokie. Hi, Revy! Hey, cocksucker! What the fuck is the maid from hell up to? Um, well, it looks like she's... Uh, she's hiding behind some crates and... Aww! What? What? Her outfit got torn a little bit. That's gonna be a pain. I mean, trying to sew that lace back on, it looks so detailed. Doing! Doing! What is she doing right now, Rex? Oh, well, now it looks like she's aiming a gun at you. She's aiming a... Ah! Damn it! Fuck it, I'm done with this shit! I'll just have to kill her on my own! God damn it! 
She's doing great. Just give up already, toilet scrubber. I'm eventually gonna kill you, so why don't you just come out so we can speed this up a bit? I got shit to do, and I'd rather not play hide and seek all night. You cannot wish to defeat me, rival. I have training in these situations. I was in the war. What war? You keep talking about some fucking war, and I have no idea which one you're talking about. <laughs> what? What war? What? What war? The war. The war. You uncultured, violent barbarian. Gotcha. Crazy versus crazy. They'll cancel each other out. That's how that works, right? Relax, Rock. I've known Rebbe for a few years now, and I've seen her take on way tougher opponents. How did you two meet anyway? I guess I just never asked. Well, the Lagoon needed another gunman, so I went around town and put up a few Help Wanted posters. Oh, so Revy responded to one of the posters? I can't picture her showing up to a job interview. Nope. I was on my way back from putting up the posters and she mugged me. She mugged you? Well, technically she stopped when I offered her the job. She was just doing such a good job and, you know, you gotta admire skill and perseverance in an employee. She mugged you! Almost. Almost mugged me. Technically, she stopped when I... Well, I mean, she never did give me back my wallet, so I guess, okay, you know what, that's not the point. How did Benny join you? Did he steal your car or something? No, no. But he might have been hacking into my email and stealing personal information. Might have. Maybe. Yes, that's what happened. You are entirely too trusting! The point is, Revy's tough enough to hold her own, especially in a gunfight. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure of it. 98% sure. Maybe like 80% or so. 72% sure. Oh, my leg! I only got two of those, you bitch! Close to 50. At least 50%. 35% sure. <laughs> 30. 25%. <laughs> 10! Maybe we should start writing a eulogy just to be safe! Oh, great! What the fuck is Bella Laika doing here? I'm guessing she came back from her vacation when she heard about this. We might have crashed into a few of Hotel Moscow's cars on our way here. Might have. Maybe, perhaps, might have. Yeah, we did. Well, well, yeah. Revy, they want her alive. She owes them the money for the car repairs, so unless you want to have them take it out of our paychecks, I suggest you let her go. Stay out of this! This is my fight! I'm gonna kill her! I swear I'll kill her! The total cost of repairs is close to one million yen. Okay, you're off the hook, maid. Unfortunately, I am unsure if you are let off of my hook. It is against my code of honor to let you go. Yeah, okay, see all these soldiers around us? The ones with all their guns pointed right at you? They work for that chick right there who you owe a lot of money. And if you don't pay her, some bad shit is gonna happen. What I was gonna do to you would be a fucking cakewalk compared to them. It'd be impossible for me to pay them. I have no money. Then I suggest you find a job fast if you enjoy having your skin still on your body. Chocolate milk! Ugh. I want chocolate milk! God damn it! He was the son of Dr. Diego Lovelace, one of the richest men in South America. Uh, hey, Roberta! Uh, this kid's family is loaded! Uh, I'm sure their mansion could use another maid! You've already got the uniform, so you're like, halfway there! Chocolate milk! I shall take a moment to think about this. Oh, for fuck's sake! I have taken a moment to think about this. In times of hardship, one must do whatever possible to survive. Even an elite Portuguese fighter like myself. If becoming a maid will assist me in accomplishing my goal, I have no choice but to comply. I realize now what I must- <laughs> Motherfucking checkmate, cocksucker! I wonder if Roberto will like being a maid. Who gives a shit? She can go and die for all I care. I never want to see that bitch again. Whoa. Deja vu. Either that or my brain's more fucked up than I thought. Sure, I'll fix it. <sighs> I'm just glad all that's finally over. I'm just glad we can finally get our paycheck for turning in that brat. Once we hand him over, we can- But Revy, we let the kid just go- Just give her a minute. <sighs> Are you sure it was a good idea to let the crazy maid escort a little boy back to Venezuela? Of course I'm sure. Totally sure. Like, 90% sure. Maybe 85%. Oh, fuck! We let the kid go! And there we go.